Go ahead, please. You feel it or you see it? Okay. Mm. And how long have you had that? Oh, just two weeks. Any pain associated with it? Okay. How old is it? How old are you? You're 38. All right. Okay, the questions have been noted. So let's try and take those questions really quick and go back to the phone lines. Doctor? Yes, uh, the first question that uh, talks about uh, decreased digestion every time you eat, you have to drink hot or warm water to aid digestion before the food goes down. Usually when you have an ulcer for a long time, the ulcer, if it does not heal up properly in time, leads to a situation where the outlet of your stomach mm -hmm. becomes, uh, it has a scar because of the chronic ulcer. Right. And because of the scar, food, the scar makes it so tight that it's no longer elastic for the stomach to expand for the food to leave the stomach. Okay. That is, we call it gastric outlet obstruction. All right. That is the problem that I think is wrong in this situation. So the place, the opening of the stomach where the food leaves the stomach into your it's intestine, so that it gets passed out, becomes really narrow. Uh, very narrow. And then uh, the food, when you have large boluses of uh, about, uh, and then you find out that it becomes more and more difficult for this to, to go down. If you drink water or pop, you find out that this goes down faster than mm -hmm. the solids that you're eating. That's usually where the problem is. And for, uh, so that kind of person actually needs to see a gastroenterologist right. who would uh, do what you call an EGD or to put a scope in the stomach, mm -hmm. to look inside the stomach and look, to look at the outlet of the stomach to see if she has the scar there, mm -hmm. and there are minor procedures that can be done to open up the scar. Okay, so you but see the most important thing is because she's 26, I don't think there's cancer involved, okay. but we still need to be sure that if cancer is present for a long time, it has not changed into something else. Okay. And uh, before, you know, uh, if that person goes ahead to see a gastroenterologist, maybe we can suggest that she eats small portions of uh, Yes, yeah, so and you don't no, fill no, up no. your tummy exactly, each time. Exactly. Eat small portions, okay. but it can be frequent. Yes. But small portion. Yes. Very important. Thank the, you. The second you. question is about the person who sits down and complains of left side, left uh, left sided abdominal pain. When he sits down. When he sits down. The question that I really would like to be sure of is that the person does not have in addition to the left lower quadrant pain, testicular pain. Okay. Because uh, there are a lot of pains in the testicles that tend to radiate into the lower side of the uh, abdomen on the left. Okay. Okay. So if you have some form of torsion of the testis, mm -hmm. that can be referred pain oh, wow. into uh, the left side of the uh, colon. So it needs proper examination. It needs proper examination. However, um, left side of lower colon pain could also be conditions be found in conditions like constipation is a very common yes, condition yes. you have constipation you have pain there mm -hmm. and diverticulosis inflammation right. of the colon could also have pain cancer is a possibility but with a young age it would be the very last thing that I would think about. I don't okay. think it's cancer in this case. So we need to rule out all those other oh, medical conditions right. so that we don't jump uh, to scare our fellow listeners. Exactly. So, so proper evaluation is key. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, may I uh, add that uh, maybe we'll look at how this person dresses too. Right. Uh, Puts a belt. Puts a tight belt. If your pants are too tight, if your underwear is too tight, if your whatever you wear is under there is too tight, yes. Let me going to <laughs> put pressure. Right. Something there. Let yes. me tell you something. The skinny jeans that came out, all of a sudden, because of some artists, I'm not going to mention any names, the guys removed all those things from the market and the ladies can't wear them no more. So, uh, even on the uh, on my website, I talked about the disadvantages of wearing really skinny jeans for guys. Okay. So, if you want to read about that, you go to Facebook, just search for Dr. Jules, and you have all the information right there. I was really thinking cool. I was going to invest in some of them. You know, it's always getting I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, then, um, for the third question about uh, 
Yes. The brownish period. Um, if your period is not flowing as regularly as possible, you have to see a gynecologist. Right. And the colors of the period is different from what it normally is. That there's something that has altered your normal hormonal balance in the system. Okay. You need to see a gynecologist. This is not a forum for us to uh, actually dwell into that. The fourth question about uh, the person that's urinate that has blood in the urine. The, the commonest thing that I would think about is uh, an infection in the urinary tract infection. Right. And also we need to make sure that there's no problem in the bladder. When you have a bladder infection or a kidney infection, along that line that can be blood in the urine. So a proper treatment for possible urinary tract infection and the urologist needs to look at this person to make sure that there's no cancer in the bladder or the kidney. That's the thing that we need to worry about after oh. appropriate treatment for urinary tract infection. Any exactly. history of trauma? No, well, that's another thing they yeah, if there's a history of trauma or previous accidents, we could have that. So, but uh, if this has been happening for two weeks and it's a painless form of uh, bloody blood in the urine, then we need to be sure that there's no cancer. And there's also some uh, parasites yeah. in the bladder that can Should cause uh, blood in the in the urine, right. cause schistosoma. So. The, the schizotoma infections are, are things that could actually cause bloody urine, especially the painless ones. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Sam, we lost Sam. Oh, Sam, please call back. Um, we have Henry for Badagri. Hello, Henry. Good afternoon, Henry. You have to turn on the volume of your radio set, please, Henry. Otherwise, we'll have to let you go. Hello, Henry. No. Please call us back. Um, Turn down the volume of your radio set, please. Hello? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who are we speaking with? Hi, Darlington. You have a question for us? Okay. <laughs> under pains under the ribs. Okay. In the middle of the ribs or on one side? Do you have cough? Do you have cough? On... Okay. All right. How long have you had that for and how old are you? All right. You don't have sickle cell disease. You are not a sickler. You don't have sickle cell. All right. Okay. 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 All, right. All right. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about that. All right. All right. Hello. Hello. Um, I we've lost, we lost that call. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Okay. Um, hello. Good afternoon. You have to turn down the volume of your radio set, please. Great. All right. Who are we speaking with? Of course. Of course. Why do you think we of come course. out of medical school after that seven years and still go 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 back to school for another four? Yes. Well, what happens? Well, this is why it's a good thing you're listening to Dr. Jules. Right. We are supposed to educate you. Yes. No, no, no. That's yeah. because you are stuck to one doctor. Right. If you ask the right questions, if you ask the right questions, you will know where yes. to go. I, I, in his defense, though, I understand what he's saying. Sometimes uh, that's why we try not to play superhero and try to treat everybody. They are specialists for different kind of uh, conditions. Yeah, just, you know. Most people don't know this. That's why we created this platform to educate you. If you're having issues with your urinary system, there is a urologist. If you're having issues with your stomach, there is a gastroenterologist. If you're having issue with cancer, there is Dr. Uh, Afonja. Oncologist. <laughs> He's yes. an oncologist, okay? If you have an issue with fertility, there is a fertility specialist. They're all specialized. So I'm not coming here 
proving that I'm know it all. I have to introduce everybody to the people that are specialized, qualified to treat uh, this topic. So when you have a problem, the person that first sees you is your general practitioner. Right. And when the general practitioner treats you, the onus is on the general practitioner to put you in the right direction to see who the specialists are. If not, ask for one. Exactly. Okay. Thanks for asking. Hello. Good afternoon. Okay. 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 How old is he? How, how old are you, sir? You are what? 39. 39. Okay. And you've had this problem for how long? Blood Six blood. to seven years. Oh. And you have they ever told you, given you any idea of what what is wrong with you? Well, you You couldn't sit down. Oh, you could. All right, all right, all right, sir. Thanks for asking, um, for joining us. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon. Hi, Anne. Um, thanks for joining us. You have a question? Okay. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Follow up. Yes. <coughs> mm -hmm. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you much, for that Anne. contribution. Um, let's take one more call and then we talk uh, about the, the questions, the questions Hello, and the Henry. treatment options as well. Hello, Henry. Hi. Uh, thanks for calling back. Yes, that yeah. was very funny. Okay, yes. please go ahead. Okay. okay. All right. How old are you, Harry? Okay. You're 27. Is it lower down in your abdomen or higher up? Higher up towards the back on the left. All right. Okay. Have you taken anything for it, like self-medication or any other alternative? Uh, no. Which one? Okay, okay. And you've had this pain for how long? Okay. Four months. What wow. have you done about it? Have you seen a doctor? Did you go back for follow-up? Oh, wow. wow. All right. Thank you. Anyway. All right. So we'll just um, treat those questions and then talk about uh, your treatment options, you know, the checkup for the topic of today, which is colon uh, cancer and stomach, stomach cancer. cancer. Um, before we round up, let me just quickly call the phone lines for the American Hospitals and Results again. It's 80 60 5006 uh, 0060765006. 6, we also have 0702827111. That's 0702827111. We also have 0184286888. Okay. If you uh, miss these numbers, you can go to our Facebook wall, Nigeria Info, and get the numbers there. And you can also go to Twitter at Nigeria Info FM, yeah? 
And um, yes, Google Plus is finally with us. So uh, we're going to sort it out and iron it out for our next show. We're just doing the trial. So every Tuesday, Google Plus will be here with us. Um, yes, quickly, we have to treat the questions. Um, yeah, Harry, as far as the uh, pain that you have in the upper part of the uh, left side of the abdomen, I think constipation plays a large role. So you need to watch what you eat and probably have a high fiber diet and see your doctor. Uh, for the person that has a bloody stool, please see a gastroenterologist. It's very, very essential. You need a colonoscopy and probably an EGD to be done. And Anne, thank you very much. All right, we have run out of time like we usually do, but um, you can go on um, Facebook, just type in Dr. Jules, that's D-R-J-U-L-Z, and you get the answers for all your questions on the wall. And remember, next episode, Google Plus will be with us so you can join in live. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what Dr. Ponja is saying. I'm saying that uh, we have 20 seconds left. Uh, oh, no, we have to okay. run out. All right, everyone, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming, and we'll see you guys same time next week. <laughs> <laughs>